My name is Francesco Walker. I have a background in cognitive psychology. Today I'll uh, take you along in uh, this trip, this research that we're doing together with the Rijksmuseum. Uh, this is a collaboration together with uh, well, Leiden University, of course, but also Fu Amsterdam and Attention Architects. We're planning on testing 60 children and we will divide them in uh, three different groups. So one group will receive, uh, well, no information about the paintings, one group will receive information that is, uh, let's say, tailored to a uh, adult population. And then finally, we have our experimental group. And these are children that actually hear descriptions that are specifically tailored to their age group. And we really want to see if uh, these kind of descriptions get them to uh, see areas that otherwise they wouldn't notice and uh, if it will change their uh, aesthetic appreciation of the artworks. We ask the children to view uh, three different paintings that they've uh, never seen before. While they do that, we record their eye movements. And to do that, we use a uh, mobile eye tracker. And the mobile eye tracker looks a lot like a pair of glasses, but it, it really allows us to see exactly what the children are looking at in a specific painting. So what they're looking at, specific areas maybe, but also for how long they're looking at those areas. Now we want to investigate if uh, children view uh, differently a painting, if we give them information that is specifically tailored to their age group. And ultimately, we want to see if giving them the, this information can actually lead to a better appreciation of the artwork, if this actually elicits different emotions. We've done in the past the research with the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam, and we proved for the very first time that children and adults use very different visual strategies when viewing paintings in, uh, in an actual museum. So adults are more influenced by uh, well, their knowledge and their expectations about uh, the artworks and uh, I mean about the, uh, the artist as well. But children tend to be much more attracted to the salient elements of these paintings. So salient because they tend to uh, really pop out due to uh, color and form. I look always at a body or something. It's really nice to see how people can paint or paint. Yeah, the colorful things, where the colors are, that falls exactly on. You know, the way in which you view a painting is, is, is extremely subjective. So we're not trying to, uh, in this case, push children to understand specific artworks. We simply want to see if we can get them to appreciate these artworks more. So investigate uh, the emotions behind them and if there are specific details that they notice that maybe usually they wouldn't without the right information. So that's really what we are uh, trying to, uh, to accomplish here. Uh, I come from Rome. For, for someone that, that comes from Rome, it's very difficult to not just develop a passion towards, uh, uh, towards art and, you know, uh, a true interest in, in visiting museums. There, there, are, there are children that are not that lucky and that might, uh, you know, feel like visiting a museum is a very uh, boring activity. We want to change that. We want to change that from uh, Leiden University, but uh, the Rijksmuseum wants to change that as well, of course. And so it's, it's research like this uh, through which we can uh, develop new tools, new strategies that uh, well, can be used by uh, museums, of course, but by schools as well, simply to bring children closer to the art world and really to get them to uh, appreciate museums more. So ideally, if you want me to envision a future, I would say uh, more collaboration with museums so, and hopefully we can actually integrate the results that we find in, uh, in the tools that the museum wants to implement uh, when, uh, when, uh, when children actually get to visit the museum.